What's up Fox and Fox here and it seems like you want updates on the Dell XPS 13 Plus. So first things first, right now it is in hot competition for which school laptop I will be using. I have both the Samsung Book 2 Pro and Dell XPS 13 Plus and whichever one wins will be the one I bring to school with me and right now it is a very tight race, which means that I have to run as many performance benchmarks as possible, including battery tests, gaming tests, portability tests, pretty much any test you can think of just to see what makes it worth it and what deserves to be in my bag. Something that's very interesting about this Dell XPS 13 Plus is that I haven't been able to get as high a score as other people. I think I might actually have a defective unit because not only do the graphics throttle like nobody's business after playing for about an hour, which I thought was probably a thermal constraint, but when I look online, people seem to be doing gaming just fine on it. And yet for me, it'll be about four or five minutes and all of a sudden my frame rate will go from 60 FPS down to like the mid 20s. Today I was just playing Valorant on it and it's still randomly just started to tank out of nowhere. So I don't know if it's the fact that it's a 13 inch model or a defective unit, but either way, that is very disappointing. And I actually noticed that trend in CPU performance as well, obviously because of gaming performance decreases over time. So it's CPU performance because they're connected. Um, I got 10,351 points one time and I've seen people get up to like 11,000, which is crazy. I haven't been able to get it up to that. And I haven't been able to even get 10,351 points since. On plugged in and high performance mode tonight, I got 9,561 points with 1584 on single performance core, which is good. The single core performance absolutely blew anything else on the list out of the water. So good job, Dell. But also, what the heck, Dell? And I will say that sustained loads, whether it be because of the 13 inch uh, chassis or just lack of cooling or anything like that, over time, within 30 minutes, I ran three Cinebench tests, which meant I was really pressing hard. Ooh. <laughs> I got as low as 6,651 points, which is just crazy. That was super low. And the run before that, I got 8,500 something. So unfortunately it throttles fast but if you are going to use it in short bursts and workloads it will be fine and for the most part if you're rendering something in premiere pro you're gonna have no issues whatsoever the only issue that i see is that you might honestly want to go for the 1260p variant because although it does have two less performance cores and four less threads the 1260p in a bigger chassis seems to do not as well, but close enough that it almost seems like a better option. The Samsung Book 2 Pro is a fantastic machine, and I'm going to continue using it because it does have a 1260p. Um, so they are right now neck and neck. I just want to let you know some of the Cinebench performance scores. On top of that, for the Dell XPS 13 Plus, on charge, so when it's plugged in on max performance mode, an Adobe render takes about 8 minutes and 20 seconds. And in second place was the Dell XPS 13 Plus, with battery saver on and unplugged and it still did it around eight minutes and 45 seconds which is why i'm a little bit concerned about thermal throttling and in last place was the samsung but it didn't travel too far behind it was about nine minutes compared to eight minutes and 20 seconds and eight minutes and 45 seconds so no issues across the board the 1260 and 1280p are both good chips I'm just concerned about thermals on the Dell XPS 13 Plus, but that was the performance that I've gotten out of my Dell XPS 13 Plus. If you liked it, like, subscribe, do what you usually do, and as always, buy yourself something nice.